Hey guys, it's Jenny Xa and welcome to another nail lacquer therapy session. Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the brand new Morgan Taylor Clueless collection for summer 2022. This collection is a very nice collection. It has 12 pieces. I feel like we haven't gotten 12 pieces since the holiday collection. Yep. So maybe they're doing 12 piece collections whenever they do a collaboration with another, you know, brand, movie, whatever it may be, because they did scene two for the holidays and that was 12 pieces. And now we have the Clueless movie and this is 12 pieces also. So maybe this is just how they do things. I purchased this entire collection from polishpick.com. I will leave them linked in the description box below. If you do shop with them, please let them know that I sent you. This collection is a really pretty collection. They all have really nice formulas. So let's just go ahead and get into the swatches. All right, first up we have I Totally Paused, and this one is described as a red punch cream. Now we all know that reds usually have an amazing formula and this one of course has one too. The Morgan Taylor brush is a nice wide paddle brush so it makes for very easy application. This first coat went on like butter, no issues whatsoever. If you wanted more of a jelly look, you could definitely leave this in just one coat. It doesn't look bad at all. I mean, look at it. You can hardly even see my nail line. So this is a very nice shade if you want to leave it in one coat, but in two coats, it just packs that punch. It's a really gorgeous shade. I ended up enjoying it very much. Of course, this isn't a unique shade. We all probably have a red like this in our collection already, but if you don't, this one is a nice one to pick up for sure. Next up we've got Oops My Bad and this one is described as a shattered glass glitter overlay. This one you guys I really did not like. It was just kind of hard to get the glitter to stay where you wanted it to stay. These are bar glitters and I don't know I just really didn't enjoy this one at all. I don't like how it looked on the nail so for me this one is a pass. Next up we've got Let's Do a Makeover and this one is described as a marigold cream. This collection does have two yellows and that makes me happy. I love yellow, can't get enough of yellow polish. This one has a decent formula. It is a usual yellow formula where you might need three coats. If you do two thicker coats, you could get away with just two coats, but I personally always like to do thin coats because I just feel like the polish goes on much better that way. It dries faster between coats, you know, a little easier. I, I just definitely prefer doing thin coats. I really enjoy this color. I really love colors like this. I cannot get enough of them. I know I have a ton of them in my collection already. Again, this one is not a unique color at all. It reminds me of Mary Golden Hour from OPI, I believe it is. Recent shade, it, you know, this isn't unique whatsoever, but it's a pretty color. I, I can't even say that I recommend that you run out and get this one in case you don't have one because it does require the three coats and there's some brands who have been able to get a shade like this in just two coats. So... I'm not sure. I, I do enjoy it, but I don't think it's something that you need to run out and grab. Next up, we've got two snaps for you, and this is described as lightest pink with party glitter. That's a weird description, lightest pink with party glitter. I don't know. I do like this topper better than I did the other one. I just like how it's just like, it's kind of like shards, like flake shards in there, and it's fun. Um, is it a bit much, I think, for, you know, your entire hand? Yes, but if we're comparing the two toppers, that one is better, in my opinion. Next up, we've got Powers of Persuasion, and this one is described as a violet cream. This one is a really nice shade, although I would say it's kind of dark for a summer collection. I feel like some of the colors in this collection lean more towards fall, and then some of them lean more towards spring. So besides maybe one shade, 
I'm looking at them all right now besides maybe one shade which is a hot pink nothing here really screams summer to me everything else looks like I said fall and spring this one leans more fall to me it's a very beautiful color it has a really good formula again nothing super unique but it's a very nice one for sure Next up we've got Adorably Clueless and this one is described as a princess pink cream. I enjoy the color in this one. This one is one of the ones that seems more spring for me than it does summer. However, I really can't recommend this one because it, I needed three coats for it. And in two coats there was still some dark spots and streaks so i don't know i just feel like other brands have shades like this that you can get opaque in just two coats without any issues um and this shade just isn't unique enough honestly nothing in this collection is unique enough for you to you know condone doing three coats or you know just not having that top notch formula i understand that shades like this usually need a little bit more love but Honestly, this one isn't, you know, pastel. So in reality, a two-coater in this shade is definitely possible and other brands have done it. So I can't say that this is a must-have either. Honestly, I don't think much in this collection is a must-have. Next up, we've got Total Betty, and this one is described as a sky blue cream. This one is a really beautiful blue. Again, it's not super unique. You probably already have something like this in your collection, but this is a nice blue and it does have a very nice formula. That first coat went on super easy and you will reach full opacity in the second coat. Now, when I say that you probably already have something in your collection, of course, that's not going to stop you if you love this collection. You're going to get it anyway. And I say, go ahead. If this is something fun for you, go ahead. But I'm just being honest with you guys and letting you know that none of this None of these polishes are super duper unique that you would have to run out and, and buy them right away. However, if you are new to nail polish or newish or just have a smaller collection, these would be a very nice addition to your collection. Next up, we've got She's a Classic, and this is a hot pink cream. This one is the only one in this collection that really screams summer to me, and it has an amazing formula. Look at that polish on that first coat. It is almost 100% opaque on the first coat and that is almost unheard of for neon. So this one, if there's any polish that you absolutely need in this collection, I would say it's this neon because it is absolutely gorgeous and it has a beautiful, beautiful formula. As you can see there on my other nails, it does dry down to a, to a semi-matte finish, matte finish, but that is completely normal with neons. They will all dry down to a matte finish, but that's nothing that a glossy top coat can't take care of. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed this one. I will definitely be wearing this one this summer. Next up we've got Highly Selective and this one is described as a light pink metallic. By the way, these descriptions are directly from Morgan Taylor. I hate this one. <laughs> As you guys can see, this is so sheer on the first coat. It, it kind of weird to me that Morgan Taylor is describing this one as a metallic because you can very much get metallics easily opaque in two coats and sometimes metallics are almost completely opaque in one coat. But this one, this one, I needed three coats to re reach full opacity and even then I wasn't in love with it at all. I don't know. Uh, this one just looked more like a bit of a stain on the nail and then a little bit of shimmer, like you added a little bit of a shimmery uh, polish to stain nails. Next up, we've got So Check It, and this one is described as a sage green cream. This one screams springtime to me, and it's, I'm okay with it because it's a really beautiful color and it has a really, really nice formula. Look at that first coat. It covers almost completely in the first coat. So if you are a fan of sage polishes, which I definitely am, this one is for sure a good one with a really nice formula. It goes on very smoothly. And again, that Morgan Taylor brush really does help because if I, I feel like if we would have had a skinny brush with this one, it would have been a 
bit of a different story. Next up we have Ugh As If, and this one is described as a mustard yellow cream. I'm surprised they didn't mention that this one has like a shimmer running throughout. It's not just a regular cream. There's definitely some shimmer in there. The shimmer in this polish will not be difficult to remove though. It's very, very fine. I enjoyed this one a lot and surprisingly, I only needed two coats for this one, but that's usually the case with some mustard yellows. You know, it, that type of shade gets a little bit darker, so it gets a little bit easier to make fully opaque. The shimmer, although apparent in the bottle, will not be super apparent on your nail. So kind of reminds me of Kale Polish's Celine um, in that that shimmer was nice and apparent in the bottle, but when you got it on your nails, you really couldn't see it. Overall, though, I enjoy this one. And last but not least, we have Driving In Platforms, and this one is described as a poppy coral cream. This one is very nice. I don't really have too much to say about it. It's just a regular coral. It's nothing, you know, crazy. Um, it does have a nice formula. I did get it completely opaque in two coats, so that is definitely a plus. As you can see on that first coat, there's not a lot of streaks there or anything. It has really nice, decent coverage. I enjoyed this one. Corals tend to look really good against my skin tone, so I do wear them a lot in the summertime. Uh, I enjoyed this one a lot for sure. I I'd say this was probably a second shade for me that really screamed summer in this collection. And here we have all the shades together and let me know if you agree with me. Do you think they look good cohesively as a collection or does it just kind of look like the collection is all over the place? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. There you have it guys, swatches of the brand new Morgan Taylor Clueless collection for summer 2022. What did you think of this collection? For me, I feel like the colors cohesively as a collection didn't go together. Like if I would look at all those colors, I wouldn't think that they were from the same collection. It looks like they just kind of picked some polishes from other collections and put them all together for this one. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it's exactly a cohesive collection, but that doesn't always matter to people because not everybody buys full collections like I do. Um, overall, they are nice polishes. They have good formulas. There's like nothing to get overly excited about, but they all performed well. I don't have really any complaints besides the fact that the collection doesn't seem to be, you know, very cohesive. As far as the Clueless references, I have never seen the movie and I'm not interested in seeing the movie, but I do know that the yellow and then the certain names for the polishes definitely, um, you know, clued me into it being from Clueless. I, I don't get all the references because like I said, I haven't seen the movie. Yeah, it just was never a movie that interested me. I feel like if I had to choose between Clueless and Legally Blonde, I always chose Legally Blonde. So yeah, I don't know. Clueless was just never on my list of movies to watch, but let me know if I'm like really missing something. Like if I like Legally Blonde, will I like Clueless? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.